Good morning, it's day three here in Kyoto. Exciting. Grand official Miyanari, just waiting for the train to come by. The train comes in around 5.49, very, very early in the morning. But you want to beat the crowd, so see if we can get some more great footage there. All right, let's go. Okay, right now I'm in Kyoto Station. I've been running around. I just swapped two trains. Oh, I'm puffing, I'm so tired. This is running around. I was, I had through, I had like five minutes between one train and the other and we got there just on time. Otherwise we would have missed the train and we wouldn't be able to catch the 613 here in Kyoto Station to Inari, so. Good thing I'm fast. Look at this gate, it's amazing. So basically that's where we are, but we want to get up to there. Get all those gates up there, up here. Whew, it's, it's actually really cold right now, um, but it's gonna be warmer. It's gonna be a lot warmer later on, but should have wore a jacket. This is chilly actually, really chilly. All right, time for some B-roll. So I'm here in Fushimi Inari and this is sort of the scene at 6.30 in the morning. Check it out. It's so empty, right? This whole row. You almost feel like you're here alone. There's a few tourists around here as well, but man, you gotta come really early. Check this out. This is all the carving right here. It looks amazing and just this whole scene, this whole view, just breathtaking. It's amazing. I'm so glad I came here really, really early. So you see this, as you get up further up to the top to Mount Inari, the gates gets bigger and bigger. And what it is is the bigger the gate is, the bigger chances here, which is gonna be granted. So because all this the gate, they're all donated by obviously big, big companies. So they got big wish. I may be wrong, but this may be the chart that tells you how much each of the gate and the, the size of it costs in terms of donation, I guess, to build it as well. So obviously the 10 one being a million and 300,000. Wow, that's, that's a lot of money. You can just see this, the scale of the donation right here. So I'm roughly about three quarters way up right now. And you remember the gate that people usually take Instagram photos for? That's actually not up here. That's actually down the bottom near the entrance of this uh, path leading up to the top. You can see the, in my, on my Instagram, the link below photos. Um, but if you're going up here, it's very different. It is more tranquil. It's more peaceful. It, it is a lot more, I guess, foresty kind of up here. Very, very different than down the bottom. So you get a lot more tourists happening down the bottom and the very, very top you have less tourists because it's a little bit of a hike up as well. Okay, I made it to the top like an hour later. Let's just take a look. This is well worth it. Honestly, getting up here, 
it's an easy but it's well worth it check it out it's amazing just just beautiful beautifully crafted all right so now for the most easiest part of this journey to the top is going down <laughs> obviously now that you've got your money shot about halfway down the track you'll find the vermilion cafe and boy they serve some fantastic coffee but with a view too so sit back enjoy a cup of coffee or maybe some breakfast you'll thank me later Ooh. Yeah, so Ready Hip Cafe, right? So this is a, a cafe that you can find on the way down from Fushimi Inari. Pretty great. Um, they do flat white and they also do uh, cheese toast Vegemite because the owners actually, well, the owners have been to Australia before for a couple of years. So what they're trying to do is recreate this Melbourne-like cafe concept. Great stuff. But I ordered a pour over, single origin. I love my single origin. Well, 6 a.m. versus 9.30. I'm glad I came at 6, tell you that. <laughs> 